If you were to place an animal in the vacuum of space, after only 10 seconds, the water and blood in its body would boil, the saliva in its mouth would vaporize, and this would cause most of the animals to die in less than two minutes of being spaced. This happens because there is almost zero pressure in space, and we know that the lower the pressure, the lower the boiling point would be, causing the liquids inside the animal's body to turn into gas vapors. Obviously, the same thing would happen if you were to place an unprotected human body in space. Be sure to subscribe and like this video to be entered into our Amazon gift card giveaway. Be sure to comment, I subscribed after. We know that a killer whale weighs about 10,000 pounds, and we know that a rocket is able to carry over 100,000 pounds of cargo to space. If we were to take a killer whale to space, the whale's body size would expand up to three times its regular size within one minute of exposure to space, just like a balloon being filled with air. This happens because five tons of liquid in the whale's body ends up changing to vapor due to the lack of atmospheric pressure. Perhaps the whale's skin can stretch out enough to take on its new size. However, most likely, the whale will explode. If you were to put a snake in space, it would neither explode nor expand due to having a significantly lower amount of water and blood in its body. Rather, it would suffocate to death within five minutes due to lack of oxygen. But that is not all. In the cold side of space, where Earth blocks out the sun, the temperature is at least minus 455 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature would freeze a polar bear in less than 30 minutes. In the warm side of space, the region between the Earth and the sun, the temperature is at least 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We know that a desert tortoise has one of the highest records of surviving extreme heat. If you were to place this turtle in the warm side of space, the solar radiations would fry its eyes instantly. The extreme heat would then mummify its entire body. However, we already know that this turtle would die much sooner due to lack of air. But what animal would survive in the brutal environment of space? That's water bear or tardigrades. Water bears are about 0.5 millimeters or 0.02 inches long when fully grown. They are short and plump with four pairs of legs, each with four to eight claws, also known as discs. They are everywhere, from mountaintops to the deep sea and mud volcanoes, from tropical rainforests to the Antarctic. Water bears are one of the most resilient known animals, with individual species able to survive extreme conditions that would be rapidly fatal to nearly all other known life forms, such as exposure to extreme temperatures, extreme pressures, air deprivation, radiation, dehydration, and starvation. Water bears can withstand extremely cold temperatures down to 1 Kelvin or minus 458 degrees Fahrenheit, hot temperatures up to 420 degrees Fahrenheit, pressures of about six times greater than those found in the deepest ocean trenches, ionizing radiation at doses hundreds of times higher than the lethal dose for a human and the vacuum of outer space. Their hardiness was tested during the European Space Agency's Photon M3 mission back in September 2007, where two different species of water bears were taken to space for a 10-day trip. On their return to Earth, they were tested to see how their bodies handled the exposure to space. The conclusion was that the vacuum actually had little effect on them. Water bears are one of the few groups to have survived Earth's five mass extinctions and are among some of the few who could survive an apocalypse. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more videos.